Hello, Mark back again. Let's get ready to rumble! What's up, guys? Mark back. Sorry it took so long for the uh, tutorial to come out. But I like to make tutorials that actually help people, not just to blah. Okay. This tutorial is in response to a question that a couple guys had about some render times and about uh, speeding up the process. And I got to admit, I should have probably put this out a while ago. Um, I didn't. And I'm sorry. Oh. But this is about the Mercury Playback Engine. Okay, CS6, CS5.5 have the accelerated Mercury playback engine. What the hell is that, Mark? Well, let me tell you what that is, pal. Ba -boom, shaka -baka -baka. It's designed for blazing fast performance. The Adobe Mercury playback engine is Adobe's Premiere Pro CS6 software delivering stunning performance and stability on both workstation and laptop GPUs. Optimized for today's blazing fast performance. Get it? Alright. For those of you who don't want to hear me blab on, it's basically speeds up the performance, the render times, and your editing times while you're actually doing the edits. Let's go down and see the supported cards for this engine. Alright, so... These are the ones that Adobe says, hey, we test these out. These are great. These are the only ones that we're going to allow to use the Mercury Playback Engine. And I thought, hey, don't be racist. Why are you racist against my card? Just because my card's not on the list? I want to be on that list. That's racism. That's just straight up graphic card racism. So, like any other dictatorship, we found a way around it. If your card has CUDA cores, not CUDI, CUDA, CUDA cores, C-U-D-A, CUDA cores, CUDA, 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 CUDA. I like me some CUDA. Mm -hmm. If your card is NVIDIA GeForce card, you have CUDA cores. Okay? If it's a Quadra card, you probably have CUDA cores too. Um, check it out. See if you have CUDA cores. If you do, this will work for you, even if you're not on a list. Because I'm going to show you how to get on that damn list. That's a private list that we're going to bust in. We're going to crash this party, brother. All right. So, here I have... Uh, Premiere Pro CS6 opened up. I have uh, a timeline here. I've got one, two, three, four different cut edits. I've got one, two, three transitions, and the sucker's red, right? So I'll play it back. It may or may not stutter, skip, whatever. You know, it's red. It's not supposed to be red. Red is bad. I'm going to go up here, Project, Project Settings, in the general. I'm going to go under the Video Rendering and Playback section, Renderer. And if I tab this down, now keep in mind... I already put my card on the list, okay? So this is going to show up. So I want to hit, boom, Mercury Playback Engine Accelerated Coda Cores. Hit OK. Hit Delete and Sabagadow! Check it out, my brother from another mother. Look at transitions playing. What? What is that, dude? That's called on the list. We're talking the VIP, kid. All right, so this is smooth as butter. So let's go on and uh, show you guys how to get it done. So to add your card to the list, the private list, you want to go to the start button over here. You want to go to Notepad. That's N-O-T-E-P-A-D, Notepad. When you're on Notepad, right-click, and you must hit Run as Administrator. If you do not hit Run as Administrator, you're fucked. You will not work. So hit Run as Administrator. That's right. Now you want to say, hey, yes, I would love to let you in my CUDA. So hit file, hit open. Then you need to go to your window settings, into your program files, and find Adobe. There's Adobe right there. Then go down. Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro 6 or 5.5, whatever you have. Click on that. And then, at the bottom of the list, you'll find CUDA supported cores. Click on that, hit open. Here you will find a list of CUDA cores. Mine was not on a list. You'll notice the GTX 660 was not on the list of the CUDA cores. See, GTX, no 660. 
But wait, there's more. For just nineteen ninety five. So anyways, I added the CUDA my GeForce GTX. So all I did was I copied right? And then I just paste it underneath and added my six sixty. You X out, hit save, I already did that. And then you open up your Premiere Pro six. You must have it closed when you do that, or if you have it open, you must close it then reopen it for it to show up. Go up to Project set Settings, General. When you click this down, that should be there. If you didn't do it right, you will not see this. This will not this will not be an option for you. You will not have the option to put it, bring in some CUDA up in here. All right? So you must do that. But if you do that, I promise you, your editing experience and your rendering experience in Premiere Pro CS6 will be awesome. You will love it. Now, I did try to do this in After Effects CS6. And for the ray trace rendering that you can do 3D within After Effects. Um, it did not work, unfortunately. If I had known that, I probably would have got the GTX 580 graphics card, but hey, it's okay because I'm doing some 3D stuff and some other software programs, Cinema 4D. But anyways, you guys will love it. Trust me, it speeds up everything big time and makes it much more enjoyable. I hate waiting. I hate waiting in line. So this is the way to go. If you guys need any help, let me know. Hope this uh, helped you out as much as it helped me out when I added it to my system. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks and have a great day. Day, day.